Resource Browser for Unity lets you view and edit any object that's loaded into memory. Let's try it. If you go into the Window menu under Resource Browser and click Resource Browser, you'll see that it comes up with a new window called Resource Browser. When the Resource Browser opens, you will notice that it presents you with four categories of objects. In the Asset category, we have all objects that were originally loaded from the Asset database. If you click them, then it actually selects them. You can shift click to select multiple objects and it synchronizes with the Unity selection. These objects here won't actually show you anything because they are unloaded. The blue ones are unloaded and they also say unloaded in brackets. If you double click an unloaded asset, then it will load it and show you it in the inspector and select it and all that good stuff. You can also see that it loaded an asset importer, which was necessary to create the character skin object. The resource browser also lets you see asset objects that aren't usually visible in the project browser up here, such as these project settings objects, and also in the library folder, we have an asset bundle for the Unity Editor resources, which contains all the icons and shaders and stuff used in the Unity Editor. For example, if I expand icons, you will see a whole bunch of icon names. And now if I double click help.png, you will see that it actually loaded the asset from the bundle. I currently have the object selected, but you can't see it in the inspector because it's set to hidden. Now if I double click on it, it opens the raw inspector window which is also part of the resource browser. In here I can actually see and edit all serialized data of the help object, including the object hide flags for example, which I can use to unhide it from the inspector. And if I reselect it, you will see the inspector actually shows that object now. Moving on to the game object category, you can see it lists all of the scenes that contain game objects including game objects that belong to no scene, which are generally built in to Unity. And if I select a game object, you can see it selects it everywhere else. And when I expand the game object in the tree view, I can see its components and select them directly, and I can see its children and select them too. Moving on to the view category, this is actually the entire view hierarchy of the Unity editor. This is especially useful when you are creating your own editor window and you can see exactly where it appears in the view hierarchy. If I look at the raw inspector now, I can even change properties of my windows. Oh look, I just modified the title. You should also note in the raw inspector if I right click on one of these labels, it gives me an option to copy the path of that property. And if I right click on the heading of one of these selected objects, I can copy the instance ID of that object. In the MISC category, I have everything that doesn't match the other categories arranged by their type. Or if there is only one object of a particular type, then it just leaves it down the bottom here. But if I were to expand the material type, then you can actually see all these materials that aren't assets, they were just created at runtime, and they're arranged into folders, so it doesn't become a total mess. Resource Browser also comes with a search box that lets you search for objects, and when you do a search, it might be helpful to then press the plus button, which will expand everything that matched to your search term. You can also press this minus button here, and it will collapse everything again. If a new object has been created since the resource browser was loaded, you can press the refresh button in the top left and all the objects should just appear. And if they get deleted since the last refresh, you will see that they turn grey and deleted is put in brackets. You can get rid of that message by again pressing refresh. That's just about all of resource browser's features. Please check it out on the asset store. Thanks for watching.